In today's video, I'm going to share with you my luxury wish list of 2021. If you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. And if you've been following my channel, you would know that this year was the year that I decided to pursue my very first Hermes bag. To be quite frank, a few years ago, I would never have thought or imagined or even wanted an Hermes bag because I just thought it was too crazy. Uh, it still sounds and feels crazy to me, but at least now um, my mindset has shifted. So I'm sure if you follow my channel, you would know that we talk a lot about shopping mindset, spending mindset, and just uh, the evolution of our journey. I'm hoping to be offered a Birkin 25. For me, the baby Birkin or the size 25 was a no-brainer in terms of deciding which size to get because I've always bought mini bags or if there were any sort of new bags coming out, I always usually tend to buy the smallest size available. I do have a pretty varied and healthy collection of Chanel handbags already. And if you haven't watched that, definitely have a watch. I ranked them and I talked about each piece and my thought process behind them. Basically, I don't really need another Chanel bag other than the classic flop, which I don't own, uh, but that's not really in my wish list. One particular bag that I would really maybe try to get my hands on this year if I can it is their mini vanity. I have been eyeing that piece since I think September 2019 obviously was super popular right off the bat because of the price point and how cute it is and it was always sold out. Since I don't really have such an extensive handbag wish list, which normally that's pretty much the bulk of my wish list every year prior, I am thinking of really diving into the world of fine jewelry. I know it's a very slippery slope, I can totally see that happening. Uh, so as of right now, I'm no, I don't know for sure because I haven't really tried uh, the new style yet, but as of right now, uh, and shouting out to my girls, my three girlfriends who, oh my gosh, I love their stack. Kat, Clara, they, they both uh, love their fine jewelry. But the stack that I really, really want on my wrist uh, is the stack on Isabelle's. The small size Justin Clou and Love Bracelet. The thinner version basically is the style that I'm going after because I have tried the regular classic and it just doesn't sit right on me. I'm hoping that um, after I get my Birkin, because I definitely want to concentrate on one thing after another, that I would make a trip to my uh, local Cartier store and try on some of those. I found out through the website that an even smaller size is available on the thinner version. So for people who have extremely baby wrists, such as myself, there is hope. My arm tends to taper quite a bit and becomes a small width up here versus someone who has maybe the same circumference as mine, which is still very small, but maybe they have a flatter wrist, therefore their their wrist just like width-wise looks larger, um, which I think looks better on uh, those bracelets. I feel like the bracelets, when they really sit tight enough to just be sticking around the top of your wrist, looks the best. So hopefully the smallest size of those bracelets will work for me because apparently there is a 14 centimeter on the just include small bracelet and a 15 centimeter available in the love small bracelet. So I think they are actually even one centimeter smaller than their classic version. We shall see. Aside from their bracelets, I also maybe want to try their rings. I'm definitely super attracted to their just include. I think it's just one of the most exciting and edgy design that they have. I'm not so attracted to their love line because it's just very simple. I like it, I appreciate it, it's just that it doesn't excite me. And even for the bracelet, I'm only wanting it because I feel like it's nice to stack it together with the Juste Clou. otherwise I would just get the Juste Clou bracelet. Even by the time that you watch this video, I would maybe have had gone to my next visit to Hermes and I definitely wanted to explore their fine jewelry. I'm not necessarily as attracted to, say, their clothes, but I am attracted to a lot of their fine jewelry pieces. I feel like their fine jewelry pieces, you can't really buy the same designs or the same sort of look and vibe elsewhere. 
which is what I like. I like to buy from different fashion houses their most unique and different pieces that I can't get anywhere else. And Chanel ready to wear is very expensive, so that's also why I don't have any. But I would love to add a Chanel classic black blazer. I feel like when I find the right one, the right cut, um, the right fabric, I will strongly consider getting one. Anyway, I'm adding it to my wish list this year. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's fine. So aside from the Birkin, the mini vanity from Chanel, fine jewelry from Cartier and Hermes, and possibly a classic blazer from Chanel, which is more than enough, honestly, because those individual items are very expensive already. Uh, they are more premium price than I'm used to. But I don't want to say no to um, a Chanel bag or Chanel accessories. If, if it comes to it, when I see it and I try it and I love it, um, I'll just add it. I'll always be open to a wall card. But one of the wall card item is right here. I have not even seen this item yet, not even once. So I hope that it fits and I hope that it works out because yeah, I have not even seen it. I just literally just received it today and we're going to be unboxing together and trying it on together. And yeah, I really hope it works out. <laughs> Otherwise, I might have to exchange for something else. Here is the item. It comes in this box. So any guesses of what this could be? Like I said earlier, I am not going to say no to uh, like a very unique and special accessories from especially Chanel because it is my favorite brand, but also because these are some of the things that you cannot really get anywhere else. I feel like this is one of those items. Okay. So it has the little booklet, Bijou Fantaisies. It is from the current collection, Spring Summer Runway Collection 21S. Ooh. I was really not planning to buy this at all. I asked my essay when the 21S collection is officially launching and kind of just like wanted to know what's new, what's coming in. And she told me about this headband and I was like, huh, I like it. Like from the picture, I really liked it. I think you guys understand why I like it so much because the headband itself is their um, classic chain design and it has the little CC turn lock little logo here, which is so cute and dainty. And um, the headband itself is made of leather lined material. So it feels very luxurious, but I'm nervous now. Is it going to fit? Let's see. Is it going to fit? How does it look? Okay, I think this is the best way that I've managed to put on my head. That looks okay. What do you guys think? Let's see if I tie my hair like this, is it going to show? Does it show weird? I can't even see myself. Maybe it's okay. So yeah, I could be tying my hair. What if I just took out some bangs, pull just a few pieces, not too many. Is it... Like something like this is great on days that I'm so lazy at styling my hair, which is most of the time. Um, I really don't bother. I don't want to do anything. Uh, so putting it in a little ponytail and slapping on a little accessory on your hair is probably one of the fastest way to make you look put together. So yeah, let me know what you think about my wish list. Let me know what you recommend from Hermes that I may not have thought about exploring yet. Also, let me know what you have your eyes on. Uh, what are some of your top three wish list items for this year? And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're brand new to my channel and you love this type of content, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.